What's up, guys? So I just uh, just got done watching The Way Back, uh, and this is a movie that I was looking forward to. I thought the trailers definitely looked good for it. You know, it looked like it could be a little cheesy. I wasn't entirely sure, but going into it, I was definitely excited to see it and looking forward to seeing it. And um, and I know this is a very you know personal story to to Ben Affleck because of the stuff that he's gone through in his life and what he's dealing with, with alcoholism and all that sort of thing. So it's a very personal story for him. And uh, I could definitely tell you guys that this is definitely a very good movie. Um, did I quite love it? I don't think I would completely say I loved it, but I would say I really liked it. Like, I came close to loving it, but um, there was just a few things in there that kind of held me back from loving the movie. It is... A little predictable at times. It is a little melodramatic at times, but maybe that's something that you could expect going into a movie like this. Um, but Ben Affleck is fantastic in this. His performance is Oscar worthy. Uh, he he kind of gives a similar performance to Bradley Cooper in A Star Is Born. Um, even though I do think A Star Is Born and Bradley Cooper as a film and as a performance are better than this film and this performance. But Ben Affleck, he is great in this movie, though. I mean, he didn't have to be better than anybody. He just have to. He just had to give a good performance. And he did. He's incredible in this movie. Um, he's very restrained, very held back. And uh, he just he steals the scene. And this is his film. I mean, this movie is strictly about him. It's not just about basketball and him coaching this team, but it's also about what he's dealing with, who he's going through in his personal life. And uh, a lot of it really did work for me. Um, some of it, like I said, did feel a little predictable, like, okay, this is the route we're going. But it does mostly feel like, yeah, this is real life. This is what could happen. And uh, in the end of the day, this is a movie about this character uh, that Ben Affleck is playing. It is a very, very much so a character study. And as that, I think it works. Uh, I, I do think that it's a definitely entertaining film. It's a well-directed film. Uh, it does end a little quickly. Uh, you kind of feel like maybe there should have been another five minutes uh, just to maybe... Put the put the bow on the on the present or whatever you want to call it. Put the cherry on top, you know. Because when it ends, for me, I was satisfied. But there was just one big question that they don't answer, and maybe you want it to be answered, but they don't answer it. So I'm not going to spoil that here. What that question is, but if you see this movie and the way it ends, you're like, well, okay, that's great. I I'm really liking this, but just give me two more minutes just to see what happened, you know, um, even though maybe what would have happened may be a little predictable, maybe not, I don't know, I guess we'll never find out, but I did really like this movie, and I'm gonna give it four out of five stars, um, I was a big fan of it, uh, I honestly wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did, but I am, you know, I'm very happy that I got the chance to see it. Guys, comment your thoughts in the comments. Did you see The Way Back? Do you plan on seeing the movie? Uh, what are your thoughts about it? Also, don't forget to hit, hit the blah blah. Let's try that again. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for a whole bunch of other reviews coming in the future. I'm probably going to be seeing uh, the new Vin Diesel movie Bloodshot a little early. Uh, it opens Friday. I might be seeing it a little early, so you might be uh, uh, you know, getting an early review for that. We'll soon find out. Uh, also, uh, this week's Quickie Wednesday Live, again, we'll have more digital copy giveaways. Uh, this week, we're going to have uh, giveaways for movies like Up, A Bug's Life, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Rambo First Blood, and uh, Beauty and the Beast 1991. And Uncut Gems. That's probably the lineup for this week's digital copy giveaways. So, yeah, we'll be talking about some other stuff as well. There's some stuff that I missed uh, last week, uh, particularly about Steven Spielberg dropping out of Indiana Jones. Uh, and uh, there was something else that does not come into my head now. But, yeah, we'll be talking about a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that's been it for me. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. And you can also follow me on Instagram at KingOfRises131. And, guys, that's been it. Thank you very much for watching my review for The Way Back. And until next time, over and out.